I didn't cut down a tree and then leave the logs to rot. I cut a down tree off of a trail and drug it out into the woods to save it and see if I couldn't get something out of it. So either way, it would have went to waste if I hadn't drug it out, tried to turn it into something. All right guys, so if you remember my little short where I drug the old dirty rotten logs out of the woods and lots of people commenting on there, oh, don't put that on my mill and all that sort of stuff. And, and those are valid things. Um, you know, they're saying they're rotten, they're worthless and all that. My buddy Justin's bringing over his sawmill, so I'm going around the property gathering up all the logs that I can find so that we can mill up some lumber to use on the cabin that me and Caden are building. I cut these white oak logs probably about two years ago, and they've been sitting here on the edge of the field just waiting for this time. It was at this point that I was starting to think that there's probably a smarter way for me to use this tractor. Now this right here is what you really want to watch out for. I've got a chain wrapped around this log, but when you lift a log up, if you don't have a self-leveling bucket, they can roll backwards like that really easy. They can roll right on top of you. Here's what we're doing. We used the first one, which wasn't too bad, because we were adjusting things on the mill, trying to set stuff up. We had an old blade on. We got the mill set up with that, and we didn't ruin any good logs doing it. So this is the first log on the mill. We had just got the mill set up and we were kind of testing to make sure we had everything set up right. You can see the end of that log is split. So we have a couple of feet of waste on the end of each of these boards that we got off. But we ended up with six and seven foot boards that were about six inches wide that were all nice solid boards. Now everybody's main concern was that the logs were dirty and they were gonna ruin a blade. But we were using an old blade that he had already milled quite a few logs on. So really in this case, no harm. And I might mention, since we're talking about it, I rarely respond to negative comments because people are gonna say what they're gonna say. But I decided to make this video really as an encouragement to you. Get out and do what you wanna do. Don't worry about what other people are gonna say or what they're gonna think because sometimes you gotta just do it to learn. And that's what I'm doing. I'm having a good time. I'm learning some things. And the fact of the matter is, the people who are negative don't always have the whole story. Comment sections kinda of remind me of the old saying, Better to be silent and thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. So, that served its purpose. Now I have two of those old rotten, dirty logs that are gonna ruin a blade laying over there. And we're down to a dull blade, so we're gonna find out what's inside. This size log. I wanted to practice anyways on stuff like this because of the uh, I'm wanting to try to I got some logs that's littler than this. Yeah. see as we start to get into this that really the outer inch or so of the log can look pretty rotten and once you get down to the center it's still good wood. Y'all told me I couldn't get anything out of those old, dirty, rotten logs. Look at this. 
He got me a seven foot four before. I mean, what else could a guy want? Guys, I kind of joked about the last one, you know, seven foot four before, six foot four before, whatever we got out of it. But uh, this one here, I honestly believe we'll get a useful, probably eight foot four before, maybe more out of it. Um, it's it's in better shape than the last one was. Anyway. Well, this last log, we got an eight foot six by six, basically, like five and a half by five, I think is what we come out to, like eight foot one, eight foot two. I mean, I'm not saying it's definitely worth your time to drag an old rotted log out and throw it on your bill, but given our circumstances where we're learning, we had a dull blade to fool with anyway, this is something I can use in my cabin. If for nothing else, I can use it for table legs and there's enough there to make us a table to put inside there. Lots of good uses for this. I don't see just letting it go to waste. Now, I probably could have done some things to preserve it better when I first cut it, but I didn't cut down a tree and then leave the logs to rot. I cut a down tree off of a trail and drug it out into the woods to save it and see if I couldn't get something out of it. So either way, it would have went to waste if I hadn't drug it out, tried to turn it into something. So this is what I love about the sawmill. You, you get to open it up and see what's inside and it's just kind of new and exciting to me. I'm loving it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today and we appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.